Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Orcs Gazgull Thracker. One of these models will set you back £42, so that makes him £4.50 more expensive than a Primark Roboot Gulliman and also more expensive than Abaddon. He was initially available in the Prophecy of the Wolf uh, box set, which looking back on it, seems like uh, quite a good deal now. <laughs> He's been uh, released alongside, uh, you know, some Space Wolves releases, uh, including Ragnar Blackmane. But anyway, let's unbox him and uh, have a gander. So, got a few things in here. So here he is. Quite a large box actually, I'm quite impressed. Um, we've also got, I don't know whether you can see it, but oh yes, we've got the painting handle. We'll be unboxing those um, a bit later on, the rest of the uh, contents, but for now, not sure about the lighting today, it's, it's uh, quite a dark, dismal day outside. Um, not great not terrible just just a and enough there's just enough light okay so here he is uh, hopefully you can see him massive massive uh, model uh, biggest orc quite possibly and then, then you've got uh, Makari one could argue you're getting two models he is bigger than Abaddon and uh, Gulliman but um there we go. You've got some options. You can have him with the shells flying out or the barrels smoking. You can have him looking the, uh, a different way. I'm not quite sure which pose I'll go for yet. So uh, let's uh, unbox this. I think there's two sprues. Yeah, it's taking a leaf out of uh, Teclas's uh, spell book there. You've got this whopper of a base. And then you've got this little 25mm base for Makari. And um, you've got the sprues, we'll have a look at them in a moment. But firstly, let's see the instruction guide. Uh, we will be building uh, this model in the Wednesday's live stream. Uh, we'll be doing other things, like we'll be doing some painting as well. So come and join me from uh, seven o'clock on the channel and uh, I'll be building him live and uh, doing some painting afterwards. So yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. You just got a few parts there, put them together. There's his main body. Um, and then you've got his, uh, I say power plant. It's basically an engine, isn't it? And then some cabling, the gun, the claw, which looks fantastic. Uh, some more cabling, and then he's complete. Yeah, I'm not quite sure which pose to, to put him in. This is interesting, look. So if you have him that way, you put him on there, but if you have him the other way, you change the front um, scenery piece. And then Makari is just four parts, it seems. And then he's even got the uh, new shortened, much shortened data sheet. Uh, profile. So yeah, that's the instruction guide. Let's have a look at these uh, sprues then. Um, hopefully you can see them. I think it's probably best for this part of the video for us to um, just look at the sprues uh, like so. So you've got uh, this half of Gaskell. Uh, you've got uh, one of the legs and part of the, the hips. You've got these uh, spent casings shells you've got it uh, looks like his mouth I think he's got two different type mouth heads you've got uh, the Makari's uh, banner you've got some smoke you've got some barrel ends you've got some stick bombs big chunk of armor there big half piece of the power plant or uh, engine uh, big uh, kind of a nice a nice looking uh, skull trophy uh, you've got Makari and um, that's half of his body, another smoke effect, the other half of the engine, uh, the other half of Makari, 
more spent casings. Yeah, quite a lot of parts actually, more than I expected on there. And then here, you've got the whopper of the scenic base um, with a crater and a Primaris uh, head. That's quite a nice addition. Um, bits and pieces, I like that base, it's, there's a lot going on. Um, you've got the other arm with the guns half, half uh, each. You've got uh, the guns separated. Uh, then you've got, I think, more legs. More armor paneling, more stick bombs, the other arm, the claw, part of the claw, more um, more claws, more blades for the claw, cabling, uh, the collar with uh, some teeth on it, Gaskell's head with um, you know some bionics, and that's about it. Pretty cool, a fair amount of parts there, these two sprues. I guess when they machine them though, they just make one big sprue and then they separate them, put them in the box. Uh, but yeah, £42. Uh, I say it's quite pricey. You are getting two models though, and it is, and he is a big model. He's bigger than the Primark and uh, Abaddon. But uh, there you go. It's We were technically looking at £21 per sprue, which, hmm, yeah, not actually too bad. And there's a lot of detail on this one. Uh, and I'm just pleased that we get new plastic orcs. When was the last time we had plastic orcs? Like five years ago, four or five years ago? Um, it was a long time ago, I'll tell you that. And uh, other than the Red Gobbo, obviously. Uh, but uh, I really hope um, Games Workshop refresh the orcs. Uh, and, uh, but there are other armies that uh, need a, a refresh um, heavily, much more than orcs, Eldar. Okay, so that's the... Uh, unboxing and and first look at uh, Gaskell Thracker. He will be the final review. I think I started this uh, October uh, with the old model of Gaskell and I'll end it with the new one. Um, so stay tuned for his review. I think in the grand scheme of things it'll come out uh, next week. What do you guys think of Gaskell? Please do put it in the comments below as always. Uh, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. For Gork and Mork.